Hey guys, Jamie here and welcome back to another design smell video. These are meant to help you improve the quality of your code by teaching you some fundamental princi principles in computer science to just help you write cleaner code, more readable, more maintainable, that sort of thing. So this one is called the long method. Alright, and by the way, these are from a book called, um, it's called Refactoring, Improving the Design of Existing Code. It's by Martin Fowler. I read this back in college, and these are kind of like my interpretation of his design methods. Like some things I disagree with him on, like he doesn't think there's a particular length, which is like the desired length for a function, like the optimal length. But I disagree. I think that around like 50 lines or so, 50 to 100 lines is a sweet spot. So I'm going to write around 50. That's kind of like the sweet spot. All right, 50 lines. All right, and so if you have a function over here, let's say you have like my method. All right, and that guy, let's say that this is around like 500. Maybe, maybe we'll make it a different number. Let's say it's like uh, 700 lines of code. All right, so this one's gonna be 700. All right, and we'll just kind of like abstract it, put some lines in here. Well, if it's 700 lines of code, then that's going to be kind of hard to understand. For someone, someone else looking at your code, or even you going back and looking at your code that you wrote a while back, um, if it's 700 lines of code, it doesn't really matter how good this function is named. Um, no one's really going to be able to understand what all 700 of those lines are doing at a glance. All right, it can take you like five to 10 minutes to understand what like 50 lines of code is doing. All right, and if it's 700 lines of code, then it's gonna take quite a bit longer. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so hard to understand that it's really gonna slow down the development of your website or application. All right, and even back when I was working at one of my older companies I was working for, I saw functions in there which were like thousands of lines of code long, all right? So not even 700, but more like 1,000, 2,000. I even saw one function that was 10,000 lines of code. I'm not joking you. That thing was a beast. It had comments in there saying that like people were typing like, I don't know what this does, but I saw it done somewhere else, so I'm going to do it here as well. All right, so that's the kind of thing you don't want. Trust me, I've seen when this gets out of hand. All right, so you don't want that. All right, if your function is more like 50 to 100 lines of code, it's not really that bad. I'm just trying to prevent against things like this, 700 lines, 1,000 lines, 10,000 lines. That's gonna drive anyone insane just looking at that thing. All right, they'll have to scroll down like 10 or 20 pages of code to even reach the bottom. All right, and code takes a lot longer to read than just like regular English, so that that is unbearable. All right, so now we know how to identify it, right? The long method is greater than 50 or 100 lines of code. So this one definitely is victim to the long method design smell. So we know how to identify it, now how do we fix it? All right, now we can fix it using something um, Martin calls the extraction method, all right? And that's simply the act of compartmentalizing certain pieces of code, like kind of dividing it into pieces and separating those pieces into their own function. So here, let's say that we take these three lines right here. Um, they kind of represent a lot more than three lines. Let's just say we take whatever that code represents. All right, we decided that's a nice succinct piece and we want to separate it into its own function. So we just kind of make our own function over here that describes it, my function one. You know, and you, you don't want to use names like this, like myfunc1, my method. Those are obviously like horrible names for functions because they don't really describe anything. Um, but you would want to use it, uh, use a naming convention which describes whatever it's doing, like like uh, check security rules or or start the party, start the event, whatever it's doing, right? That would just go in here and then those lines um, they would actually go directly inside of here. Boop. All right. 
and then this would just call my function. All right. So you can see how we're like whittling down instead of like, you know, 100 lines or 50 lines or whatever that is. Um, this would now be one line. So then this number would be slashed. All right. And it starts getting smaller. You get it down to 600. All right. Then maybe you start doing that again. Maybe this is another 100 lines of code or something. You put that into its own function. All right. And you just keep doing that until you get this number down. All right, I won't draw, draw that out, but you get the idea. You just put it into its own function over here. All right, and you keep doing that until um, this number gets down to around like 50 to 100. That's a good, that's a good sweet spot in my opinion, so that you don't run into that problem where the function just keeps getting bigger and bigger. All right, and this is something you always got to keep your eye on, right? Like, no one really intends for their function to be 10,000 lines long. It just kind of gets that way. It's like it's like trimming uh, hedges or bushes in your yard or something like that. Like, it's not your intention that these bushes just like overwhelm everything else in your yard. You just want a bush, like you just want a function to do something. So it's just good to keep your eye on this, make sure it doesn't get too out of hand. All right, so guys, that is the long method um, design smell. So keep an eye out for that one. It can be quite nasty if it gets too out of hand. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you seen this sort of stuff? Do you have one of these lurking around in your own project? All right, if you do, I highly recommend you fix it. All right, simply using the extracts method. Extract it into its own method, certain parts, which makes sense, and then call that method in the original one, all right? And if you need to, that method itself can call other methods. Like if it's so big that you need to like call a method that calls another method, you can do that as well. All right, guys, so let me know in the comments below. Have you seen this? Do you have this in your own project? What are your thoughts on the long method design smell? All right, leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate that if you enjoyed the video, that is. All right, and I'll see you guys in the next one in the design smells series.